this unit had been in storage for a very long time. The capacitors of the power supply blew up, so I did some troubleshooting and replaced them. That's what this video is about. The symptoms was that the Lotharec took a very long time to load. When the OS loads, it does some calibration routines and if those don't pass, they time out after a very long time. So none of the analog portion of the main board was working. Transformer works fine, the electric worked fine. We traced through with a multimeter and had no trouble at all identifying that the fuses were blown, so those fuses blew. Replaced the fuses and then they blew right away. I disconnected the output set, turned it on with new fuses again, and they blew right away, so we knew that the power supply was the issue. That being said, since the power supply was the issue, the floppy drive probably works. I'm glad I saved it. I didn't throw it away. So I can put the floppy drive in the PC and read bit for bit from my original disks, so there won't be any issue with my old disks working. Whereas old disks and a new floppy drive may or may not read based on how bad the floppy was out of calibration. So I took the barrage apart and found that there's a problem with the 12 volt negative voltage section of the power supply. So the power supply in a Mirage has two 5 volt channels, a minus 8 volt channel, and a 12 volt positive 12 volt channel. There's a half rectifier on the 5 volt side, there's a full rectifier on the high voltage side input is AC from a transformer which has the taps to generate the voltage and then there are four voltage regulators along the back of the power supply. What we found is after inspection these two fuses were blown. I put two brand new fuses in and lo and behold there they are, lo and behold they popped immediately upon turning it on. I made the mistake of not disconnecting the output section first and that could have damaged something on the main board. I don't think it did because they blew almost immediately. It wasn't like they warmed up and then blew. The next step was to verify was it the power supply causing the problem or the main board causing the problem. So I removed these two output sections of the power supply so it's only the transformer and the main board and put two new fuses in and they blew immediately exactly the same. So typically it could be a capacitor these things that explode, but none of them are damaged. They're all in perfect condition. Could also be the voltage regulators that have shorted out, but something is shorted to zero. So this video will be the process of inspection to see what has failed. I've done a preliminary reading with the meter to see that everything looks kind of normal except for the 12 volt capacitors don't show any proper capacitance. So I'm guessing they are shorted. I don't know why, because none of them look damaged. They're very old. Maybe the fluid inside evaporated or leaked. We're lucky enough in my town to have a store that sells electronic doodads. So I went and bought replacement parts for all the capacitors. Um, they're not exactly the same, obviously, but they are all proper uh, ratings. The um, one missing. Why is there one missing? God damn it. Thanks for watching. I'm going to button this up, put it back in the rack, and it's good to go. All you guys check out the other videos on the Clico Brothers YouTube video channel, and there's a few songs, actually a lot of them, on the channel that make quite a bit of use of this machine back in the 90s. Um, give them a listen. Tell me what you think.